Hi guys, this is the fourth acquisition of skill screencast and today we're going to be discussing the phases of learning. Two individuals called Fitz and Posner identified that we move through three different stages of learning when we sort of learn a skill if you like and it always runs in order and the three phases are as such the first phase which is what we call cognitive phase second phase which is what we call associative phase and the third phase called autonomous phase so a bit more about those in detail then the cognitive phase of learning is what we call the first step of the learning process so when you're a beginner first learning a skill you are in a cognitive phase because you know nothing about it or very little about it and you're trying that skill for the first time at this point when you're beginning skills demonstrations and clear verbal instructions are needed so the learner whoever's learning the skill needs a, a, a vivid image as to what they're learning about quite obviously the more complex the skill the longer it will take to learn and so for that element of, of things if you're teaching a complex skill teachers need to, to break the skill into sections and give small chunks of information at a time so if you think about whole part whole learning it links to that a little bit or part learning where you're taking one part and isolating it trying to improve it and the, the cognitive learner can take that information on board better because it's only a small chunk of information rather than showing that entire skill and then worried about doing the whole skill okay so often in this phase we link this to children but there are plenty of skills that adult learners could also be in the cognitive phase of so don't just think it's for kids the second stage of learning so once we've got past this beginner stage of learning a skill we move into the associative phase and this is what we call the second phase of learning and this one often is the longest phase of learning generally significantly longer than the cognitive phase at this point you've gone from being a beginner maybe learning a basketball dribble or a netball shot and being a bit rough around the edges you might be sort of two three out of ten if you're shooting into a basket but now we start to eliminate lots of mistakes and we start to refine that skill a bit more so you might start to see a, a, a pretty good improvement within those um, beginners skills what we also call motor programs where your brain starts to develop an idea of what the skill would look like they've become more developed in this stage your body and muscles get used to what we call motor programs as well as your brain developing those however the majority of learners never move past the associative phase they never make it into the final phase because they cannot eliminate all of their mistakes so you know you often see adult learners as well as sort of high school secondary school learners will still be in an associative phase and some may even carry carry that on until later life they might never ever leave that stage okay so they still have a good level of performance but there is still a lot of errors in their performance and they can't seem to eliminate those errors the final stage is what we call autonomous phase and this skill when you learn the skills now it becomes automatic you're not thinking about it it's an unconscious thought so basically it's in your mind somewhere but you don't really have to think about producing a tennis serve you're just focusing on what spin you want to do or where you want to place the ball or how hard you want to hit the ball um, if you're taking a free kick you're, you're not really thinking about the run up as such or how to kick the ball you think about what spin do I need to, to jot it past the ball and into the top corner do I need to hit it low where is the goalkeeper etc so you think about the finer aspects of the skill rather than the majority of the skill itself good examples of this would be obviously Roger Federer at elite level his skills have become automatic he's not really thinking about his forehand he's thinking about where to place the forehand what spin Tom Daly for example as he dives off the diving board he's not thinking about how the hell do I dive off this diving board he's thinking about how fast do I need to get into that tuck shape when do I need to get into the pike shape 
It's not actually thinking about those individual skills themselves. So you're fine tuning something. A key point to note is at any time within these three stages, cognitive, associative and autonomous, if you get injured or you, you have a lack of practice, you can drop back a phase. Okay, So you could go from autonomous phase, have a terrible injury for your knee or arm uh, in tennis, and you might end up being associative again because you need to correct your errors again. It's been a long while since you've, you've played tennis, etc. Okay, make good notes and bring them to the lesson and we'll discuss this a little bit further.